Welcome to this week's edition of The Real Chat. We've got Pete Lawrence here with Kick and Home Inspection. We're going to uh, ask him a few uh, issues regarding inspecting homes. So, Pete, tell me a little bit about, uh, we're seeing a trend and we're starting to do more on our homes too, a pre-inspection. And what do you see the advantages of a seller of having a pre-inspection before they put their home on the market? Good question. You know, a pre-inspection, we're learning, can can really solve a lot of problems that come up during a regular home inspection when the house is already under contract. Mm -hmm. By getting a pre-inspection, you can identify any big issues that may want to you may want to address prior to listing the home. Right. These addressing the big issues up front will put the buyer's mind at ease after they give you hopefully a full price offer for your house. Right. Right. Now that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah I think that that's a great idea because again, you work so hard to find the right buyer. Why would you want to blow up a deal over maybe a few items that uh, were deferred or that or you could just have been addressed a while ago? Yeah, yes. yeah. That a pre-inspection will often help figure the ferret those items out so they can be addressed prior to getting under contract. Yeah, yeah. If you want to move, it's one of the things that it would make it a lot smoother. It also helps the buyer put the buyer's mind at ease because they know going into it that this house has been inspected, and here and the list has probably been addressed of the items that were. Ask that question again. So, you know, again, what, what do you think some of the advantages are of a, of, to a seller of having a pre-inspection? Getting a house pre-inspected before listing it can help to identify problems that would normally come up after the house is under contract, and those items can cause the house to fall out of contract. It's much better to figure out what's going on prior to the, to the house going under contract for the buyer. Yeah, and I always find that if a house falls out on you know a contract based on an inspection, the next buyers are like, "What the heck's wrong with it?" Yes. And they may actually be a little more critical yes. of that house. So yeah. yeah. So to address those problems up front with a with a inspection, it's fairly simple to do. It takes two to three hours, mm -hmm. and it usually solves a lot of problems that come up when everybody is under stress of being under contract. Yeah, you don't have much time. Right. So I really appreciate that and. Again, thanks for taking your time. I know it's uh, it's great to see and, and get a little more information for some of our folks. Again, thanks for uh, spending some time with us on The Real Chat, and we'll talk to you next week.